During the scoping phase, the assessment team works with the business or the organization commissioning the assessment to plan out the HRIA process. Good planning and scoping is essential for ensuring that an HRIA is effective and that it achieves the desired results. In this phase, the assessment team gathers information about the business project and the local human rights context. The team also identifies stakeholders to engage with throughout the assessment process. For example, assesses research, risks related to the industry, common human rights issues in the particular country, and which workers, community members, and other rights holders are likely to be impacted by the business activity. This information helps assessors know which human rights issues are particularly relevant in the given context. Creating clear terms of reference for the HRIA is an important element of the scoping phase. The terms of reference is a written document that describes the scope and purpose of the HRIA. The terms of reference guide the rest of the assessment by outlining expectations, resource allocation, methodology, timetable, reporting requirements, and other important parameters. Based on the risks identified during the scoping process, the HRIA team is established. Team members may include lawyers, anthropologists, environmental and health specialists, individuals from the affected communities, as well as translators or other relevant people. This phase features two practitioner supplements. One of the supplements include a checklist of elements for the terms of reference. The scoping and planning supplement includes suggested sources and questions for scoping the human rights context and the specific project or activities.